When it comes to aviation, few machines capture the imagination quite like STOL aircraft. Short takeoff and landing planes are built to do the impossible, lifting off from tiny clearings, riverbanks, mountain ridges, or even rugged gravel bars where most airplanes wouldn't dare. These incredible flying machines are the ultimate adventure tools, designed for bush pilots, explorers, and even rescue missions in the most remote corners of the world. What makes them special isn't just their ability to operate without a runway, but the way they redefine freedom in the skies. From rugged workhorses to futuristic prototypes, here are 15 incredible STOL aircraft that prove you don't always need a runway to take flight. Technam P-2012 STOL The Technam P-2012 STOL is a breath of fresh air for operators needing to reach tight and rugged strips. Certified by ESA in 2024, it boasts a max takeoff weight of 3,680 kilograms, with a useful load over 1,200 kilograms. Starting from M Tau, it needs just 315 meters to lift off and 425 meters to clear a 50-foot obstacle. Landing over 50 feet requires just 360 meters, while the ground roll can be as little as 225 meters under favorable conditions. Inside, it feels modern and well done. 11 seats, every passenger gets a window. USB ports, good air conditioning and cabin amenities, plus a roomy high wing view and solid avionics. For anyone needing versatility, comfort and real STOL performance, this plane checks almost every box. Electra Aero EL2 Goldfinch. The EL2 Goldfinch feels like what the future of STOL looks like when it grows up. Electra has crafted a hybrid electric blown lift technology demonstrator that doesn't just talk the talk, but lands softly in under 114 feet and takes off in less than 170 feet, all while crawling along at around 25 knots during the trickiest phases. It's quiet too. Electric motors and lifted flaps combine so that off-runway grass fields and even tight pads are suddenly usable. The promise is huge. A nine-passenger production version in 2028, capable of cruising fast, using little infrastructure, and making aviation less about runways and more about possibilities. De Havilland Canada, DHC-6300. The DHC-6300 The Twin Otter is a legend among STOL aircraft, rugged, versatile, and surprisingly roomy for its footprint. Powered by twin Pratt & Whitney, PT-6027 engines, it can haul approximately 19 passengers, or cargo, and still lift off in just approximately 1,200 feet, approximately 366 meters, and land in approximately 1,050 feet, approximately 150 meters, 320 meters. Its cruise speed around 170 to 180 KTAS gives it decent dash between remote strip to strip. What really sells it is the flexibility, floats, skis, or wheels, quick change interiors, strong frame, simple systems. It may not be sleek, but it gets you where few others will, reliably and with character. Pilatus PC-6 Porter. The Pilatus PC-6 Porter is one of those rare aircraft that feels like it was born rugged, made to go places no one else can. With its single Pratt & Whitney PT-6 turboprop, enormous wing, and beefy landing gear, it hauls approximately 1,200 kilograms of payload, yet can squeeze into tight spots. Takeoff over a 50-foot, 15-meter obstacle is about 440 meters, and landing is approximately 315 meters. It moves slowly, around 115 to 125 knots cruise, but the magic is how it carries people or cargo up to high altitudes, lands on glacier snow, gravel, or even floats, and still starts again next morning. Simple, brute useful, and legendary. Just Aircraft Super S-T-O-L. The Superstall feels like the ultimate backcountry toy for pilots who crave short strips, rough landings, and big smiles. 
with its self-deploying leading-edge slats, massive fowler flaps, and rugged long-travel shock landing gear. It turns what most pilots consider rough terrain into fun taxiways. Takeoff ground roll is tiny, about 275 feet, approximately 84 meters, at its 1,320 pound maximum weight with the Rotax 912 engine. Landing can be even more dramatic with rollouts under 100 feet when conditions are right. Cruise isn't lightning fast, roughly 90 to 110 miles per hour, especially with big tires or under heavy load. But when your goal is getting into places no runway built, the Super STOL delivers. It's pure, joyful bush flying in kit form. Zenair CH701. Flying the Zenith CH701 is like having a bush pilot's dream in a backyard workshop. Its thick, high lift wings, full span leading edge slats, and flaperons give exquisitely low stall speeds, around 28 to 30 miles per hour, and let you float over fields at a near walking pace. The takeoff roll can be as little as 50 feet and landing roll under 100 feet when lightly loaded. Cruising is modest, roughly 80 to 95 miles per hour depending on engine choice, but that's not what you buy this for. What matters is control low, reliability, simple structure, and being able to get to places few others can. For pilots who love off-airport adventure, the CH701 is joy in metal and rivets. Savage Norden. The Savage Norden is a beautifully balanced blend of bush plane grit and modern finesse. With a standard Rotax 915 IS engine, approximately 141 horsepower, double slotted Fowler flaps, electric leading edge slats, and a wing built for both cruise speed and whisper slow landings, it lives in both worlds. Takeoff roll can drop to approximately 40 meters approximately 130 feet with light load and favorable conditions. The cruise speed is satisfying, over 100 miles per hour with modest RPM, especially when fitted with a four-bladed E-prop. The cockpit feels surprisingly roomy, visibility is excellent, and features like large doors, rugged landing gear, and optional bush wheels make it genuinely capable off airport. It's not just a toy. It's a serious machine for pilots who want to go places few other light aircraft can. Piper PA-18. The Piper PA-18 Super Cub is more than just a classic. It's almost a spirit in aluminum, fabric, and big Tundra tires. With its 150 horsepower engine and high lift airfoil, it cruises around 100 knots, but shines when you're up close. Stall down with flaps is approximately 37 knots and takeoff rolls of about 200 to 500 feet, approximately 60 to 150 meters over a 50 foot obstacle, depending on weight and variant. What makes it unforgettable is how it behaves when pushing off prepared strips. Rugged, forgiving, yet demanding respect. Tailwheel handling, visibility over the nose, simple controls, and a legacy of mods from floats to bush wheels add up. It's not just a bush plane, it's a standard for what outdoor, off-airport flying should still be. Nap Lil Cub The Lil Cub is a tiny monster of STOL ability, built with heart and ingenuity. This home-built, two-seat high-wing tail dragger uses light Oratex fabric and clever aerodynamics to pull off takeoffs in approximately 11 feet and landings just as tight when using full STOL technique. Empty weight is around 685 pounds, approximately 311 kilograms. Gross about 810 pounds, approximately 367 kilograms, powered by a 120 horsepower Continental C85 engine. It cruises fairly slowly with maximum speed near 54 knots, but that's not the point. Its stall speed is astonishingly low approximately 17 knots, so what you lose in speed, you more than gain in the freedom to land just about anywhere. It's pure bush plane artistry. Aeropract A22. Flying the Aeropract A22 feels like piloting a magnifying glass for landscape. You see everything, every blade of grass, every dip in the terrain. 
With its large bubble doors and generous glazing, visibility is unmatched. The Rotax 912 engine, approximately 80 to 100 horsepower variants, gives it enough push. Stall speed with full flaps is around 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. Takeoff ground roll under 100 to 135 meters, and landings about the same. It cruises nicely at approximately 150 kilometers per hour. Not lightning fast, but efficient and smooth. What really wins you over is how forgiving and honest it is. Capable off strip, simple to fly, and joyously responsive to pilot input. For folks who want lightweight STOL capability and views, this is a gem. Skyreach Bushcat. Flying the Skyreach Bushcat is a breath of fresh air for bush pilots and weekend adventurers alike. Powered by a 100 horsepower Rotax 912 ULS, this light sport two-seater feels rugged yet welcoming. With a useful load of approximately 260 kilograms and empty weight approximately 340 kilograms, it strikes a strong balance between payload and performance. The stall comes in gently, around 38 to 44 knots, and field performance is solid. Takeoff roll approximately 80 meters, and landing roll approximately 100 meters at max weight. The cockpit is impressively roomy, the single central stick gives direct control, and the option for tail dragger, nose wheel, or even floats add real versatility. Yes, it isn't built for speed, Cruise is around 90 miles per hour. But for getting into rough strips, remote camps, or just enjoying low and slow flight, the Bushcat delivers heart and reliability. Kodiak 100. The Kodiak 100 is what you reach for when you need a single engine turboprop that can go anywhere, haul a serious load, and still feel composed. With its powerful Pratt & Whitney PT6A34, it brings approximately 750 horsepower to the table, carrying up to 10 souls, or cargo, with a useful load north of 3,500 pounds. It takes off hard in about 934 feet, 285 meters, and lands in approximately 765 feet, 233 meters, when pushed. Real STOL chops. Cruise performance is solid, approximately 174 knots at 12,000 feet, Perfect for linking remote strips to bigger airports without wasting time. What really sells it is flexibility. Floats or skis, comfy cabin, big cargo door, rugged landing gear. It isn't cheap, but for operators who need true off-strip reach, endurance and reliability, the Kodiak 100 punches well above its weight. Kodiak 900. The Kodiak 900 builds on the legendary ruggedness of the Kodiak 100, but with polish and speed that make remote runs feel less like rough duty, more like refined adventure. With its 900 horsepower PT, 6A140A engine, this bird cruises at 210 knots true airspeed, climbs aggressively, and hauls up to 3,630 pounds of useful load. The stretched fuselage gives extra cabin volume, approximately 20% more. More windows, new summit plus seats, and modular layouts that go from plush passenger transport to workhorse cargo. The trade-off. Stoll performance is slightly softened. Takeoff ground roll is approximately 1,015 feet. Landing roll approximately 1,460 feet. Still very capable off-strip, but not as instant as smaller bush planes. Overall, it's a compelling tool for operators who want both utility and speed without losing spirit. Zenith C H 750 S T O L The Zenith S T O L C H 750 feels like the perfect mashup of rugged utility and livable comfort. Flying it, you're struck by how quickly it gets moving. With a 100 horsepower Continental O200, takeoff roll is only approximately 100 feet and landing about 125 feet at gross weight. The stall speed plunges to approximately 35 miles per hour, so you can gently drop into rough strips without much drama. The cabin is surprisingly roomy. Wide bubble doors, big wraparound windows, and a skylight make you feel part of the world outside, not boxed in. Cruise is modest at approximately 100 miles per hour, but that's fair trade-off given the lift and control at low speeds. All metal build adds confidence, especially on grass, 
dirt or uneven strips. If you want to roam off-road in the sky, this one delivers. Cub Crafters XCUB. The X-Cub isn't just another bush plane, it's a serious beast reinvented. With up to 1,084 pounds useful load, cruise speeds around 145 miles per hour, 75% power, and top speeds pushing 153 miles per hour, it bridges backcountry ruggedness and cross-country capability like few others. It stalls low, approximately 39 miles per hour, so approaches are gentle and forgiving. Takeoff and landing rolls around 170 feet help it into tiny strips or remote fields. The cabin feels elevated, the view is panoramic, controls are modern, and comfort isn't an afterthought. If you want a plane that can haul gear, span long legs, and still sneak into places most can't, X-Cub might just be the sweet spot.